Sports Leader, a division of Bell Media. They have been the very best here in Lethbridge. Margareta Sigurdsson and her team are rock solid at every position and now have Sweden poised to repeat as world champion. Trying to stop her, Miriam Ott. After a lifetime of trying, she's made it to the world final and now Team Switzerland could strike gold for the first time in 29 years. So who will be the queens of the curling world? It's one game to decide it all. This is the final of the Ford World. Final evening here at the NMAX Center after a wonderful week in these Ford Worlds here in Lethbridge. It all began, of course, a week ago yesterday in the top four teams, Sweden, Switzerland, Korea, and Canada. And remember now, Canada had to win the tiebreaker over the U.S. to get into that fourth slot. You'd have to say a disappointing week, however, for the former champion, Ingu Wang of China, who finished 3-8. and eight. So... In the playoffs, Sweden won the 1-2 game, getting right through to the final tonight. It was Korea over Canada to play Switzerland in the semi. And now Switzerland will once again play Sweden. But earlier today, the bronze medal game, and it was Canada trying to rebound from the disappointment of not making it through to the semi, playing for bronze against Ji Sun Kim of Korea. And here in five, makes the triple to score three as Canada goes on to win it, make the final 9-6 in Canada. And Heather Netto and the team from the Savile Sports Center will go home with a bronze medal from here in Lethbridge as the two teams make their way onto the ice. Switzerland, Miriam Ott from Davos, who has been playing this game now for some 30 years. She started at the age of 10 in a country that is more in love with skiing and soccer but now since the olympics she can walk down the street and they go you're that curler and with two silver medals to her name now looking for a world gold as on this sunday we say hello canada and welcome back to our final evening here in lethbridge linda and russell alongside when the uh, swiss player are at the world champions russ we always think they have a chance we just don't know which miriam Ott team is going to show up yeah, you really don't they were picked to maybe make the playoffs but the field was so deep but Miriam six times here at the world level, three times at the Olympics, has never won. You really wonder if they can pull it off. But you look at the stats, Miriam tied for first as the best skip. The team's number one. This could be their time. As for Sweden and Margareta Sigurdsson, whatever event we do, whether it be at Juniors or Scotties or Briar, we always talk, Linda, about consistency. Consistency will win you a lot of games. It will. If you think of the whole year, this team from Sweden made it to the European final, only losing to Scotland in that final. This week, they've had three losses. Two were on last drop. A very powerful scoring machine, also good at limiting scoring. They've been consistent, but you know what? They lost that Euro final. They want badly to have their best performance in this final. Well, Sigurdsson did win a silver medal in Bismarck back in 2002. She was throwing the third stones then. She throws the lead stones now and wants to take that one extra step up the podium with a gold here in Lethbridge. The 2012 Ford World Women's Curling is brought to you by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. Okay, look, when gas prices jump, you still gotta work. So suddenly you're cutting back on everything from family vacations to cell phone minutes. Well, here's a thought. How about cutting back on gas? Here's how. The Ford F-150. It gets 32 miles per gallon highway. That's the best. So you can get the job done and get a break at the pump. Yeah. Can you hear me now? This is the future. This is the Ford F-150. It could be 7 in the morning. Or 10 at night. In Chilliwack, B.C. Or St. Peter's, Nova Scotia. It could be Michelle. Or Mark. Or Jen. But whenever, wherever you order that cup of Tim Hortons premium blend coffee, you know that it's always, always, always fresh. From Newfoundland and Labrador to Vancouver Island, it's always fresh. It's time for Tim's. The 
two teams getting ready to step on the ice in this gold medal game of the 2012 Ford World Women's Curling Championship, Sweden against Switzerland. Time to meet the teams now, and it's brought to you by Ford. Drive one. The Swedish champions are from Skellefteå. That's about nine hours north of Stockholm, 800 kilometers. They are skipped by Margareta Sigfridsson, but she will throw the lead stones. Maria Vennerstrom, Christina Bertru, and Maria Prutz throws the fourth stones, and they were very, very impressive, especially in that win against Canada in round robin. The Swiss champions are from Davos in the eastern part of the Alps. Miriam Ott at the age of 40 in a sixth world appearance. Janine Greiner, Carmen Kung, Carmen Schaffler. We saw them, of course, in Vancouver representing Switzerland. They lost in that bronze medal game to China. Switzerland will play the red stone. Sweden will play the yellow and Sweden by virtue of that win in the 1-2 game. They will have the last rock here in this opening end of play. So two teams, uh, Linda, with something to prove. The, the skip looking to go beyond a bronze she won in 2008. And of course mentioned already that Sigfridsson looks to better her silver medal that she won in Bismarck. And both of them want to bring their best performances. From these two teams, we have seen a little bit of that up and down performance. Sweden had their best game by far against Canada. We saw 95% from Maria Prutz, the last rock thrower. Miriam Ott had a good game in the 1-2 game that she lost. The semifinal, she struggled terribly at the start of that game, and then she won. So we're just wondering, and all these preparations lead to this one game, who will bring West. their best? All eight players are world class. They've shown it all week. They've shown it all year. But can you bring it when you have to? And there's always those intangibles, Vic, that we talk about at all these events that utilize the page system. Sweden plays that one two page game and then they have a wait. And sometimes the wait is good. You feel more prepared, more relaxed and energized. And sometimes it feels like those two days are never going to go by. And uh, you, you feel like the wait is just terrible. So for Sweden, we'll see if that has any impact on this game. Basically, a couple of practices is all they've had since that one-two page uh, playoff win. I know you like this young lady, Janine Greiner at lead. She's a terrific player. We talk about the great leads in Canada that we see so often, Laney Peters included from the Netherlands team. Janine Greiner brings a lot of terrific performances game after game, and that's what you need to set up the end. For Switzerland, they did have a shaky start, in particular Miriam Ott yesterday. I think they should keep it open. A little less risk in general around center guards with and without hammer. Miriam needs a little time to settle down. The start of the game yesterday, she was quite shaky. They did eventually settle her down by playing an open end, so I think this start for Switzerland has okay. been good. Sweden taking the cautious approach to last rock where they hit to start the end. Corner guard goes up. The corner now can be peeled if Switzerland so desires. For Sweden, I think they should be aggressive. That worked really well against Canada and against Switzerland, and their front end are going to be key in that same little story you keep telling us about the lead who skips. She has to put those rocks in place for the game she calls fit. Yeah, she always uh, says, I then have no one to blame but myself. The game plan brought to you by World Financial Group. Your dreams are strategy. But it's up and down the sheet here in this first, and uh, Switzerland has yet to beat Sweden here in Lethbridge, losing in the round robin game, 7 4, and then 7 6 in an extra of the 1 2 page playoff. And in that 1 2 game, Miriam Ott played so well, saving ends, drawing against four, making freezes. It really was a brilliant performance. and. I'm pretty yeah. sure the coaches were a little concerned about how complicated the game was to require that kind of shot making to just keep in the game. Well yeah, they seem to have a plan in uh, Switzerland when they have hammered to be very aggressive and they, they have been burnt around the center guard a few times. 
So Sweden playing along a little bit by not putting up the corner until it can be peeled. We'll see if Switzerland can keep that front open. Am I wrong to think yeah. that that's a little odd? Or is that just a normal way to go? I mean, if you're going to play it up and down, why don't you play it up? Why would they throw up the corner? I just don't understand. They're doing the delay corner, Vic. They still hope to get a mistake on okay. it. It's just they did it so that Switzerland wouldn't protect in the middle, and then Sweden would get trapped in playing the race to the button. The very first Swiss rock was so good on top of the button, they didn't want to leave it there. Now it's less risk because they've got it out in the eight foot, Vic. Okay. Amazing the difference wage you can handle a first end. You, sometimes you see double guards, sometimes you see no guards, sometimes you see freezes, tap backs. In this case, uh, going to the corner with the second rock as opposed to the first, which is more traditional. And we see, you know, we saw Korea center line from Canada. Korea played to the wings, right? That's exactly, yeah. yeah. Never stop learning. Oh. 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 Carmen Schaffer, uh oh. Uh oh, got a corner, just needs a corner. Done. I would think this would probably be the last attempt for Sweden. At some point in time, Switzerland might just draw around it, split the house. You hate to do that too early because it is usable. Both of these teams can play the draw game well, but they're very powerful hitters. That's why, for example, Sweden has such a good points against. That's the limiting scoring that the opponent is trying to accomplish. They can put the draws in position, but they love to hit. And those numbers for hits in round robin play for both teams really were very high. Of the two teams, experience would be in favor of Switzerland. This team has been together for some five years now in, in different formations, but Miriam Ott in a sixth world and Schaffer five and Carmen Kuhn and Greiner four. Christina Bertrand, for example, here at the age of 35, making her first appearance at the Worlds. intentional but that's a great roll get it behind the uh, t-line there's less uh, room to roll for the last shot of the end Russ you know that the Swiss on a last rock just missed beating the Canadians that was a bad Sunday for them a week ago and then they rattled off and then has had the loss against Denmark to finish in the number two hole of the uh, one two game There were some concerns, early concerns about Canada and some of the results. They got the W's. It was how they got them. They got some of them, of course, on last rock misses, such as Miriam Ott. But congratulations to Heather Nedwin, Beth Iskew, Jessica Mayer, Lainey Peters from the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton. Bronze medal winners earlier today against Korea. Margaret of Sigfridson. Well, this is the way to do it. Manager wins and losses, and she did it very well, including an impressive win midweek, 8 4 over Canada, and then beat Switzerland in the 1 2 page playoff. See a little bit different system as far as the takeouts are being played there. Miriam is going from the center line out. We call that inside out. We saw Sweden play the outside in hit. 
There is quite a difference for Magretta. That outside in is much straighter, so they'll be taking tighter ice, and Miriam playing that softer weight with the curl towards the wings. I know it's starting to change a little bit in Sweden now, but the ice used to be dead straight there, so I think they'd be a little more comfortable with that straight turn. A lot of the clubs in Switzerland have uh, very aggressive rocks and get lots of curl, so it might just be a comfort thing. Miriam Ott in her last here in this opening end. It's the gold medal game of these Ford Worlds. Those two hits were very controlled, and that was a little concerned to see how Miriam would come out. Sometimes she does overthrow those, and that is what throws her off. Her timing goes off a little bit. Those were very controlled. Still leaves the blank. Maria Prutz very quickly out of the hack, looking for the blank here in one. And out the side it goes. So we're underway. Gold medal game. Switzerland, Sweden, and a blank in the first. The 2012 Ford World Women's Curling is brought to you by Tim Horton's Real Fruit Smoothies in New Peach Mango by Capital One. What's in your wallet? And by M&M &M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. The NBA's best come out to play. Thursdays on TSN2. That was impressive. Every week, we feature the biggest stars. That'll make you go out of your mind. Can't miss matchups. Oh. And the most entertaining halftime show in the biz. Oh. With 13 doubleheaders this season. We've got the NBA cover. What a dunk! Thursday beginning at 8 on TSN2. to the super absorbent sponge pockets. Sponge towels. Nothing absorbs like it. Is that live TV on your phone? Uh, yeah, I'm catching the game now. That's TV? How many channels you got? 26. Let me see. Oh, I love that show. Isn't that your number? I'm in no hurry. Shove over, darling. Now see, that's how you treat a woman. Mm. Valve brings you super phones with over 25 live TV channels. DeKalb 73 Series Canola Hybrids. A new threshold in genetics and technology. Power and unstoppable yield momentum. And it's only from DeKalb. That's right, DeKalb. Before we got the Capital One Aspire card, we never had enough miles to get away together. Aloha. Isn't it beautiful, honey? Mm. Let me show you around. <laughs> Wait till you see the clubhouse. I can see you, Carl. But now, thanks to Aspire, I get double miles on all my purchases so we can actually get away together. The Aspire card. Get two reward miles on every dollar spent, plus a 35,000 first purchase bonus. What's in your wallet? I can see you, Carl. It's the 12th time that Canada has hosted the Ford World Women's Curling Championship two years ago in Swift Current. Now in Southern Alberta in Lethbridge as we welcome you back. Our final evening here in Lethbridge. Switzerland and Sweden playing for gold. And in the opening end, a blank goes on the board. So Sweden, once again, will have the last rock playing the Yellowstone. First one in, corner guard up. Here comes the guard back for Switzerland, so we're going to have some rocks in play. Try to get it tight to the rings, but not in. Freeze! 
Well, as mentioned, Switzerland so far winless this week against Sweden. The whole team, all the four players are just great curlers. They play really well, and uh, we struggled all times a little bit. We had two really close games, but never got this win against her, so it will be very tough for us to beat her. Uh, we just know that we have play a good curling to beat them because I expect them to play as well as they did in the round robin and in the page one, two. So Linda Miriam Ott has seen that consistency as well. She has, she knows what she's facing. The strategy will be an important component for Miriam though, as I said, because in those losses, there were one or two ends in each game where Miriam let the strategy get away from her. Nobody's getting away from anybody here. There's been 20 rocks thrown so far. Nobody has missed every curler at 100%. Carmen Kuhn putting up the center guard. Switzerland is sitting shot rock. Top edge of the button. Sweden, though, does have the hammer. I think if Maria can hit the deepest corner, the one on the left-hand side of her screen, thin enough, it'll come off the back side of that rock that was just thrown, and it could glide right into the rings, maybe towards that corner guard. Gets rid of the two Swiss stones and the shooter will rattle around and finally stop just off center line, covering the forefoot. Really nice position for that rock. You can see where that yellow, if you hit it on an angle, it would stick on their yellow in the rings. It's, they're lined up beautifully later. This is where it starts to get nervous for Switzerland. They start to guard and then one good shot and you're guarding now rocks that belong to the opponent that they've raised into the house. Curling in a hurry, this one. It's also very long. Well, we heard Miriam Ott say both games were close against Sweden, and Margarita Sigfridsson expects more of the same. It's a very good team. She's she's playing a lot of uh, championships and and won uh, won some medal as well. So she's uh, one of the best teams, of course, and very experienced. And uh, we like playing them. It, it's often very fun games. And the two best all week, one two in the standings, meeting here for the gold medal. Roll both of them buried here. How quickly an end can turn around. They're both available somewhat. But this is a very nice shot to move both yellows. Springs the one, leaves it with just a corner open. The other one does go into the hole on the other side. Be a little pebble here. We watched uh, Carmen's die and over curl. Carmen Schaffer's we play third stones here in this second.
Well, he almost got to nose rush. Yeah, it finished hard and it was nowhere near nose at the hog line. It was big finish there. The characteristics of arena ice a little more curl early in the game and as the pebble the tops of the pebbles start to smooth off a little you get a little less resistance try and follow that one down maybe get a little roll first in a bear through to throw the exact same shot twice and you can really get a feel for what it's going to do here. Little early brushing by nice. Carmen Kung and Janine Dreiner. Looking for that inside flip, but they don't get it. Canadians described it as pouncing the stone. We hear it often as jumping the rock, maybe just stopping the curl initially. Maybe just a little bit more weight too, but the rock is creeping up. It will be interesting to see what Miriam does if this hit is made, because that other yellow is accessible. Rotation, they should be able to hold this. Tanner uh -huh. Strum and Prutz with just a dusting now. And she does manage to get across the nose just a little bit, leaves it top of the eight foot center line. You can't baby this one for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a new spot, but secondly, there is that yellow guard tight to the ring. You could never play a quiet little tap and over oh. curl and tap that one in. No kidding. If Miriam rolls a foot, it would be a pretty easy raise. She'd love to roll right to the center line. I don't think he can hit it that thin to do that. Skip Stones here in two. Miriam Ott with her first. Get across, yeah. jump it over now. Oh, not quite. Yeah. Tough to piece, but just the piece. Good shot, just the same. It's, uh, it makes it that much tougher. Shouldn't be a problem hitting it, but can you hang around? Miriam threw that fairly firm. It was almost an up normal. I'm not sure she would be quite that heavy, so you have to consider that when you're trying to copy the opponent. Maria Prutz throwing fourth stones for Sweden. Oh boy. They'll lose the shooter. Yeah. 
first mistake. Uh, Team Sweden was 100% going into that rock. That was a little overthrow for sure, though. So a chance for Switzerland to get out of this trouble. They've played this spot many times. It's all been with that controlled weight. Now, would she like to, if she can get across the nose, flip underneath that uh, tight yellow stone? Or? I mean, she'd love to if she could. I'm not sure that's available. Miriam Ott, her last. Nope, rolls it away. So a chance for Sweden to put another blank on the board and take the last Damn. drop to three. Very nice. So far, nothing to show for gold. Inside the Sports Center newsroom, I'm Corey Warren. The next edition of Sports Center coming up immediately following the gold medal game from the Ford Women's World Curling Championships. Let's check out some of the other stories we're following for you today. Final round with the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Tiger Woods, his approach on the par 4 8th, settles inside three feet, leading to his fourth birdie of the day and a three shot lead. Then with the lead four on 15, 12 feet to save his par. He wins his first event since 2009. Oilers and Blue Jackets, 4-2 Edmonton in the second. Sam Gagne grabs a loose puck, snaps home his 17th. Oilers win 6-3. South Region final, March Madness, Baylor, Kentucky, second half. Terrence Jones grabs the rebound, throws it down as the Wildcats roll into the final four. And Quebec City will begin construction on a new $400 million arena in September. Details on SportsCenter. To increase fuel efficiency, it injects tiny droplets of fuel directly into the combustion chamber so you can enjoy every drop. The all-new Ford Focus. Daniel and Grace dream of retiring. Proper protection, an emergency savings plan, adequate retirement income, and taking the trip of a lifetime to Paris. But how can Daniel and Grace make their dreams come true? At World Financial Group, we help families like Daniel and Grace make their financial dreams a reality. Let us help your family too. World Financial Group. Your dreams, our strategies. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh. Yes. Hey, how come we never watch a game at your place? Ah, oh, your HD is amazing. So switch. Oh, changing providers. With Bell, it's easy. One phone call, they can install as early as tomorrow. <sighs> okay, look. The other reason I come here is... I love Janet's decor. I mean, it's classic, but there's still a bit of old world whimsy about it. That chaise is lovely, chair. It has an available dual clutch six speed automatic transmission that changes gears so efficiently, you can get up to 977 highway kilometers on a single tank. Changing the way you think about changing gears. The all new Ford Focus. a fortune to be found in the frigid, unpredictable waters of Alaska. It's gold mining like you've never seen before. Bering Sea Gold premieres tomorrow, 10 Eastern only on Discovery Channel. Henderson Lake. Here in Lethbridge, we welcome you back to the NMAX Center. Opened back in 1975 for the Canada Games. Underwent a $35 million retrofit. And this is the first event to be hosted. 
So blank blank. And here we go to the third. Once again, Sweet will have the last rock playing the yellow stones. Switzerland escaped from that last end. Sweden setting up a deuce for quite a while and managed to get out of the trouble. This will be interesting because this is where the trouble has occurred for Switzerland during the week. They put up the center guard and they come around top eight by Sweden. And now the next series have to be perfect where Sweden can again set up a deuce. Mary makes a good freeze there. We thought about splitting the house, but that freeze is so good, it's dangerous. So it's, Sweden's going to try to sneak in the inside here if they can, maybe even bump it a little bit, release the red from the yellow. I wondered if they are actually trying to come around it. Maybe, maybe. We're getting used to the ice again. The ice yeah. is out on the edge of the 12, and Korea would take that for the draw to the center line, but these teams get a little less curl now. Well, you're absolutely right. That is what they're doing, and they got to go. Nicely done. Hey, if the skip, skip can do it, lead stones, everybody should be able to do it. Jail <laughs> boat! Nice part about Janine's freeze, it's so good that if you, uh, when you make this on an angle, it should stay partially buried. Carmen Kung threw a guard last in that she would love Jack, back. It was very close to the hog line, not much use. Jack, oh, 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 Jack, 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 Raised rock goes through, shooter spills over. Maria Venerstrom, 26, in her second appearance at the World Championships. Position again. Oh, oh, You're trying the uh, right hand double because if you miss it, if it jams, you probably make the left hand double. I think the biggest way to miss miss is hit a little thick and you get jammed and go across the top of that one that was just thrown. You do not want to over curl on your own. Schaffer and Griner with the big brush. Oh, and now the catcher on the side doesn't work. And now all the, the reds are gone. And Sweden with last rock sitting two in the forefoot. Well, they got lucky. They got rid of one and grouped the other two. It could have been a bigger disaster than this. That's three out of four shots uh, for those hits that they've had this overcurl on the same stones. I'm not sure what's going on with that rock war. Is it Carmen Kung just getting that one started? Looked a little narrow that time, but the, the draw that overcurled mm -hmm. last end didn't run very well at all. The speed was not there at all. I have to keep an eye on that one. It is the same set of stones we've seen for two days on this particular sheet, and we haven't noticed anything.
Interesting, this sheet B red has been used by Korea and Switzerland yesterday, and they looked fine, great during round robin, the very best of all the reds. This top rock will come across just underneath that other yellow. So Switzerland punishes Sweden for grouping the stones in the forefoot. For Sweden, they are choosing from sheet B and C for the yellow. We've seen a little mix in and matching uh, over the last couple of days once you were able to choose your own stones from the various sheets. Interesting that the reds have always stayed a single sheet. Love to line these up on the right on the T line here. Oh, you know, it's funny. We saw with the Koreans and Jisun Kim, the skip loving to jump out, and we we're saying that that's maybe lack of experience. Well, there was Margareta Sigfridsson doing the same thing with all her experience, wanting to come out. Now, it is a wide open house, no line required, but it isn't a good idea no matter what's going on. Those brushers have been doing it all year just fine without you. Chopper. Want to roll, but you want to roll out. It's a very straight spot. And out the back it goes. So it's set up here for Sweden with Last Rock in the third to maybe get a deuce. Here she comes again, and it'll be left up to uh, Christina Bertrude to just watch it in. Big scrub, and they'll get it to the top of the 12 foot. It's a two. Nice set up by Sweden on those come arounds and now able to keep the rocks far apart. For Switzerland, they're going to try and hit, but the main thing is try to stay somewhere and stop leaving these simple draws, at least make them hit something and roll to the right position. Yeah, people want to roll in these, but every time you roll, you roll deeper. And that, mm -hmm. in this case, that might set up a, a flat, flatter double than you want. You could actually hit this dead on. if. Sweden then hits a dead on. You would have an angle to make the double, albeit a long one. Miriam Mott in her first. Here in the third as we play skip rocks. We'll get it closer to the back four. Nice throw. <coughs> Have to roll away a little bit. A nose hit will give Miriam an opportunity. <coughs> Every time I hear somebody off, I want to run for the sanitizer. It's uh, that's Christina Bertru. She was Gala. like that on Friday night. Gala. Flu affected the, uh, some of the teams this week as well. Most notably, uh, Canadian second Jessica Mayer, who missed two and a half games because of the flu. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's there. She was saying it's a straight spot. Yeah. 
You won't be expecting with that broom about an inch of curl. Double, you hit it too much, then you go underneath. So uh, that, that's why they waited. Obviously, they had to brush it a little bit sooner, but it's hard to fault anybody. That was a flat one. Miriam, with all good throws, though, I said that I thought she would be the key in how she started, and she has started very well with the delivery, anyways. Stone here in three. And Sweden looking to get on the board for the first time. Bang it on the nose, push it out the back, and put two on the board. Sweden opens the scoring here in the third. With the professional, independent advice of a licensed insurance broker working for you, you can sleep easy. Insurance brokers don't work for an insurance company. They find you the best insurance, getting you the right coverage at the right price, and are there to help in the event of a claim. So you can sleep easy. Your best insurance is an insurance broker. The Dominion is Canada's trusted insurance company. Why? We guard your home. We deliver on our promise when you need us most. We've protected your business and favorite pastimes since 1887. We are connected with you in your community as a very proud supporter of Canadian curling at all levels. Thanks for making us Canada's trusted insurance company. Get to know us and find a broker in your community at insuranceforcurlers.ca. Daniel and Grace dream of retiring. Proper protection, an emergency savings plan, adequate retirement income, and taking the trip of a lifetime to Paris. But how can Daniel and Grace make their dreams come true? At World Financial Group, we help families like Daniel and Grace make their financial dreams a reality. Let us help your family too. World Financial Group, your dreams, our strategies. Love Tim's fruit smoothies. Yeah, peach mango. So tropical. Imagine we're enjoying our smoothies on an exotic beach. Mm. When a hunky lifeguard surfer lifeguard surfer approaches. Anyone seen the staples? Bye bye, stapler guy. Made with the full serving of fruit. Tim Hortons Real Fruit Smoothies in new peach mango. Just $1.99. When the world came to Victoria in 2005, Team Canada's Randy Furby had to first win a tiebreaker, then a Page playoff game, a semifinal, and ultimately the championship title. Moments that world curling fans will never forget. And now it's all coming back. The 2013 Ford World Men. Tickets on sale now. It's a country of barely 9 million people and just 5,000 of them curl. It's a far cry from the half million Canadians that take part in the game. But as we found out the last few years in the women's game, Sweden are at the top of the class and no one even comes close. So how exactly are they doing it? Well, every year in Sweden, 12 female curlers, three entire teams, are given significant funding to train and curl. And after a whole year of battling on the ice, the team that is playing the best is selected to be Team Sweden at the Worlds, regardless of whether they've won the national championship. So if you're wondering why Annette Norberg and her world championship team from last year aren't here in Lethbridge, well, the answer is quite simple. Margareta Sigurdsson's team was better this year. 
And oh, those yellow jacket wearing kids bouncing up and down in the crowd. Well, they're simply not just Swedish fans, but in fact, all 18 students of the Swedish Curling Academy, a program that combines high school studies with an elite level of training program for curling. It's the perfect way to ensure that the next generation of Swedish curlers will be as good as the current one. Scotland may be the birthplace of curling, and Canada may be its adopted home, but when it comes to international women's curling, Sweden is the place to be. And a great deal of the Swedish success has to go to the three-time world champion, Pea Lindholm, who has taken over. The association runs the program, and uh, it's because of him that their success continues. And off to a successful start here, scoring two in the third. Sweden has the lead, and for the first time in the game, Switzerland will have the last rock playing the Red Stones in the fourth. So for Sweden, they played in, which we would expect. And then the corner guard. The next one for Sweden went in. It wasn't supposed to. It was supposed to be a guard. Unfortunately for Switzerland, they played a hit with pretty big weight. Roll out, and that means that now Sweden can peel the corner guard. Have any concerns for Switzerland? Is that a fact, Linda? Just a shade too much weight on some of those hits. Maria Vennerstrom. So this year, the selection was to bring Margareta Sigfridsson. She played the best, and she appreciates what Lindholm and her federation are doing. Uh, the Swedish Curling Association is, is uh, developing all the time as well and working a lot of on the stones and ice as well at home so, so that we will be able to practice on, on, on very good ice as well. And, and the Curling Academy is just great, and they're coming here and and, and feel the spirit and they, it makes them want to go. And you know, Russ, that to me may be one of the biggest uh, what? 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 adjustments that the, the rest of the world has made. We always said it was a disadvantage for European countries in particular to arrive at an event in Canada and play on very swingy ice. But if they're adjusting and putting in better ice conditions, learning about the stones as well as you know them inside out or some of our top curlers when they can come and step on the ice and feel comfortable from first stone first end first game boy how good that must be oh, there's they've hit the nail on the head there's no question about it you have to treat the athletes with the the biggest advantage you can possibly have and that's exactly what did go wrong for years i, I played pale millions of times and different events on straight ice he was incredibly hard to beat on this type of surface we had the advantage now this is the type of surface you get all the time so it's kudos to that association for what they do i love the concept of three top elite teams funding them uh, i think new brunswick should do that and not tell the other provinces linda <laughs> oh no you can have a secret program out there so there was a mistake by Sweden. That nose hit on the peel attempt leaves the opportunity for the come around. And there is made by Carmen Kung. The player who had been struggling gets it in a nice spot. There's the curl that we're talking about. You have to be prepared for these kind of shots with this kind of ice and stones. Straight run back. It's a fairly long one. It's a high degree of difficulty here. front of the stone in the forefoot. It's perfect. <laughs> you really could write a book on how to miss properly. And then they they uh, recognize that about two thirds of the way down. If the peel wasn't going to be made. You do not want a corner guard uh, when you don't have hammer. It just rolls it perfect. not easy Switzerland's going to try it to move it back to the corner okay 
Schwert. Ja, de kommer ju i vicken då, men då får vi ju skjuta. Nu har vi en annan kort skjut. Kan vi vicka bakom? Blir det dåligt? Nej, ja, ja. Det vore väl bra att vicka så pass att den här blir sämre. Ja, exakt. Men vi hamnar bakom tio. The good thing about Carmen Schaffer's hit on that front stone, and this is why Sweden is talking so long, is the yellow one that is shot rock is exposed now. So you can hit this one. You have to decide where you want to roll because Switzerland can make a play on that one top four. It is Switzerland now as you look at those yellow stones in there. It is Switzerland that does have the last rock. The accuracy of these hits and rolls are what makes Sweden so good. These two teams ended up where they are this week. Just incredible curling. Also notice the weight. It is not peel weight. You're moving two rocks, and they were fairly close together, and the angle was difficult, but you didn't have to throw it with up weight. Just nice controlled hit. So many curlers, uh, when they see two rocks that have to be removed, change the weight. for Maria Prutz. She was with Margareta Sigurdsson when they won a silver medal in 2002. She also spent some time with Annette Norberg. Now what do you do? In decision time, do you hit or draw? Great opportunity to go around your own guard. That shows a lot of confidence in the Swiss skip here. Because if you don't make this properly, you'll be forced to a single. Yeah. Two down, it makes some sense. You don't get a lot of opportunities in games where you're seeing an opposition team play so well. So you have to measure that carefully and decide if Sweden's going to be making all these shots. Do we want to go? Well, this may be one of the better chances with just one rock belonging to Sweden in the edge of the fo eight foot into the 12 foot. So you need full eight here to be shot rock. But you have to have faith too in your own team and your own abilities, do you not? I mean, oh, sure. Well, that's basically what I was saying, Vic, is, is uh, they're showing uh, confidence here for sure. This one could over curl if you're not careful. And around she goes. Miriam Ott. A oh, lovely covered top four. Now we talk about the uh, Swedish program and the changes and the growth of it. Well, this is uh, Andy Schwaller. And he has become, of course, a national coach. And uh, they have gone now to a Canadian-like ranking system to rank the teams so for their Olympic play. And let's not forget that uh, a fellow by the name of Al Moore was hired last fall to become the Swiss national trainer. And uh, all right now showing some good results in the play of, uh, of Miriam Ott. 
He's worked on Miriam's delivery, Linda, hasn't he? He's worked with the whole team a little bit. All the 14 top teams in Switzerland work with him, and it's nice for a small country because he can go to almost any city in one day and reach out to the curlers in their home clubs. Do you freeze on the corner here for second shot and make the draw for too tough, or do you try to draw around it and potentially steal a point? You have to run back. I think they've covered it all. Looks like the run back is the call. This is my least favorite. <laughs> it's pretty easy to miss this, and then it's you're giving them two. Unless you hit it really high side, and you're giving them three. If you hit this thin enough onto your own rock. Do you think you can get around this, do you, that it's long enough and it swings enough? Well, even if you even if you get around top eight or something, Vic, it makes it a little tougher than uh, the shot if this is missed. Maria Fruits oh! needs to come right up now, and it will not. I think we always forget about the all-important force, and uh, that is making it hard for the other team to get their second point. Anything top eight partly covered, but near a freeze, you're really shrinking those circles for your opposition. Well, the terrific crowd uh, for this gold medal final. Acknowledging that Switzerland and Miriam are have a chance now to get the two right back here in four. Switzerland has one in their pocket. Full eight foot is what they need. Switzerland will pick up a pair here in four. We're all even. It's the gold medal game of the four worlds. Okay, look. When gas prices jump, you still gotta work. So suddenly you're cutting back on everything from family vacations to cell phone minutes. Well, here's a thought. How about cutting back on gas? Here's how. The Ford F-150. It gets 32 miles per gallon highway. That's the best. So you can get the job done and get a break at the pump. Yeah. Can you hear me now? This is the future. This is the Ford F-150. Canada's largest coast-to-coast -coast mover, AMJ Campbell, has been moving households and offices locally and internationally since 1934. As the most trusted movers in Canada, AMJ Campbell is your source for your home, office, or do-it-yourself move. At AMJ Campbell, we treat your possessions like they're our own. AMJ Campbell is the only moving company that you can pay on your Sears card to earn Sears Club points. Thinking of moving? Call AMJ Campbell. Mom, are you done yet? Almost done. Want to watch some TV? Yeah. Hey, kid, you get TV on that? Yeah, it's got cartoons, music, news, sports. Sports? Yeah, I'm watching the game right now. Sweet. Last one, I promise. Take your time, schnookums. Schnookums? That is why I don't have a girlfriend. Bell brings you super phones with over 25 live TV channels. seen plenty of adjustable drivers but we can assure you the world has never seen one do this the new razor fit driver all other adjustable drivers will simply have to adjust DeKalb 73 Series Canola Hybrids. A new threshold in genetics and technology. Power and unstoppable yield momentum. And it's only from DeKalb. That's right. 
decal. They're only given so many opportunities, and uh, she got one here and made the most of it. Miriam on Switzerland. Well, they decided to go, and it has to be well played. It has to be buried for you even to have a chance for your deuce. And it showed confidence right off the get-go. Mary McNormally in past years just hit that enemy stone, and she said, no, I'm going to put this on the X, force them to a tough shot, and that's how you win championships. So she draws the four-foot buried, and then Maria Brooks missed the run back. They drew for two to tie it. The key shot is brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue, stylish designs for any room. So here we go to the fifth in a 2-2 tie. Gold is on the line, and it's Sweden. It does have the last rock playing the yellow stone. Position A, all three rocks, just perfect, just barely in the free guard zone. He tried to make a mistake there. And we're trying to get it over a little bit because this side, the center line side, has a tiny sliver exposed. That is the side of the corner guard, so you wanted to try and get that guard to cover as much as you could. Sweden playing the freeze. The skipper Sigurdsson nearly down on top. This is a show the two leads are putting on. Margareta at 100% still. The first call was to play the guard, the redstone tight to the rings, and try and roll away. And now it looks like they're trying to run the red straight back. I like the first call. They're both good, but there's a little separation there, so you have to be careful. To, you've got to be perfect to save your yellow. A little soft weight. You could roll behind either guard and open up that yellow-red raise. them both. Maria Vennerstrom. It's a nice shot to open it up, but the remaining stone is left open. So it was two different philosophies. Do you move it now? Do you get that red stone off the button now? Or do you wait a little longer, set it up a little longer, mm -hmm. and maybe leave some more yellows in a better spot? situation when you have two choices to roll behind you can you can get unlucky roll in the middle obviously but the odds are a little better that you can bury this stone
I thought it was going to go and it just didn't. I think they found a straight little spot here. Mm -hmm. Most of the week, this uh, shot towards center did uh, take time to creep up for sure. Looks okay. That's nice. No. Creeping up the house. Janina, how about then? Yeah. Run out. Oh, the new rail falls. Okay. It's not fish, tell me she does. Good. Good. Yeah. Carmen Schaffer. Into the nose. A little change in plan here. I think they're going to go dead on with this one because if you do roll buried, it's so high, it would be a double guard for Miriam to draw around it. You have to realize as Switzerland continues to hit and it creeps up the house. If they do exchange hits, then it is Sweden that could go around it. Interesting how just a series of plain old takeouts still thinking yeah. through the strategy. You really have to decide if you want to roll away. If you roll away, what will the opposition do? You're not going to be very far in the house no matter what you do. You can make uh, the double there. You've got that catcher on the right-hand side, but you, you really like to be in the rings here. So it is to just hit and stay and see what the opposition does. Miriam Otten, her first here in five of a 2 2 tie. Sweden with last round. Oh, what's that? Now, for some reason, that one did curl a little bit on her. They were trying to leave it exposed so that if Sweden went in behind it, it could be raised. It's partly covered. You could uh, tap up the yellow. Is the red still there? If this is uh, over buried, there's probably a raise for Miriam. I'm not sure she can hit it dead on, maybe with soft weight. 
Same situation basically as last end, ignoring a dangerous rock than the last time it was in the rings and it paid off for Miriam. Miriam's rock is just to the right of center. And with the takeouts, we've seen them run very straight. And now you put down the ice for the draws. And we have seen in this spot a lot of finish with draw weight. So the room's way out mid-12. A lot of hits for Maria, too. So this, uh, this might be a good opportunity to get some speed. Maria Prutz and her first. All the way out. She does. Well, she's looking at that as to say, how could that have happened? Even though you as a player don't throw the draws, your team has seen draws and you've played some, and you should be closer than that. That was really uh, moving when it went through. Yeah, I think it might have been her first draw, but she uh, she threw a bunch in practice, so you're right, there's no excuse. Now, reason for playing it down this cluttered side and coming through the hole? Uh, it's the best way to get to the button and be buried because you have two guards to draw behind. The other option, Vic, is you could you could do the same thing uh, Maria tried, or you could tap the shot that uh, Miriam just threw. Okay. I think this is the simpler shot, really. The uh, yellow corner shouldn't be a problem. You could play the split on the front. It depends mm -hmm. on what you're trying to do here, whether it's a steal or a force. Final stone for Switzerland. This looks perfect. Now it's still on that yellow guard. Now it breaks. Oh, has she got her draw weight tonight? Wow. T line back button. Shot. Because they came around the two guards, Vic, it's, it's, it doesn't suit your eye in the hack. It's over Barry from that really long guard. Now, you can still get at it, obviously, but it just doesn't look comfortable. So uh, Sweden will go the same way as they did the first time. And her disappointment, Linda, comes from the fact when that it just went a little deep. Is that it? A tiny bit, but it accomplishes what you want. The other team have to draw the button, and even then, even if they make it, you do. If you're Miriam, force the single, you get the hammer back. Which was probably the goal at the start of the end. When she was heavy with her first. Going to be heavy with her second. Yes, she is. Maria Prutz. Switzerland will steal the lead going to the break. The 2012 Ford World Women's Curling is brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Stylish designs for any room. Mom, are you done yet? Almost done. Want to watch some TV? Yeah. Hey, kid, you get TV on that? Yeah, it's got cartoons, music, news, sports. Sports? Yeah, I'm watching the game right now. Sweet. Last one, I promise. Take your time, Schnookums. Schnookums? That is why I don't have a girlfriend. Bell brings you super phones with over 25 live TV channels.
Welcome to Transamerica, where together we're transforming tomorrow. Your husband put this all together when Emma was born. He was an amazing man. This is for you. It's all paid off. And this is for Emma. <laughs> so where do you think she'll go? Anywhere she wants. <laughs> we're making people a more secure tomorrow. What can we make with you? Transamerica. Transform tomorrow. Canadians are crazy about curling, and so are their kids. Thanks to the Capital One Rocks and Rings program, thousands of kids across Canada have learned about curling in their elementary schools. From coast to coast, Rocks and Rings has kids screaming, hurry hard, and having a great time doing it. Our instructors get kids active and excited to learn about a new sport. The kids love it, the teachers love it, and the best part is, the whole program comes to you. To get Rocks and Rings in your school, visit rocksandrings.com. love Tim's fruit smoothies. Yeah, peach mango. So tropical. Imagine we're enjoying our smoothies on an exotic beach. Mm. When a hunky lifeguard surfer lifeguard surfer approaches. Anyone seen the staples? Bye-bye, mm. stapler guy. Made with the full serving of fruit. Tim Horton's Real Fruit Smoothies in new peach mango. Just $1.99. Can we start? We can record it twice, no? At lead is... Sidrova. 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 You're doing the questions? Okay. What are you gonna ask? Unsere dritte is... Too much party yesterday yeah, night? Yeah, yeah. It's not too Zoom then. No. <laughs> Mit <-ha. laughs> Sorry, camera guys. Sorry, yeah. sorry, oh, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Program alert. Ford World Women's Curling, next. She left the oak. She left the oak. Way to get excited, team. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. <laughs> it has been a terrific week here in Lethbridge. We want to thank all the teams for their cooperation. Our Sincere thanks to Jody Melling, the chair of the organizing committee, some 400 volunteers. It's always great fun to come to a community such as Lethbridge that loves their curling. We're about ready to start the sixth. Switzerland leads 3-2 over Sweden. The 2012 Ford World Women's Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group. Proud to be a sponsor of the season of champions. Your dreams, our strategies. By Tim Horton's Real Fruit Smoothies in New Peach Mango. And by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Hey folks, I'm Bill Cream in the Sports Center newsroom. Here's what we're working on for Sports Center, which is coming up at 10 p.m. Eastern. We've got to start with golf. Tiger Woods in contention to win his first PGA Tour event since 2009, the final round of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Tiger Woods with the approach on the par 4-8. Settles inside three feet, leading to his fourth birdie of the day and a three-shot lead. On 18, Woods taps in for par. He finished up at 13 under for the tourney, taking home his first PGA Tour event win since 2009. On the ice, Wilding Capitals third period, Alex Ovechkin will score his 36th of the season. Washington winning 3-0. They move into a tie with the Sabres for eighth of the Eastern Conference. Oilers Blue Jackets 4-2 Edmonton in the second. Sam Gagne losing the puck. Or snaps a loose puck, rather. Gets a 17th. Oilers winning that one 6-3. And Quebec City will begin construction on a $400 million hockey arena in September. It should be completed in 2015. Look, it's okay to take the occasional gamble, as long as it's something like switching from boxers to briefs. But you never roll the dice on your truck. So go with the short thing, Ford F-150. J.D. Power & Associates just gave F-150 their highest award for initial quality. Add to that the best mix of torque and fuel economy you get with its EcoBoost engine and your money, baby. This is the future. This is the Ford F-150.
DeKalb 73 Series Canola Hybrids. A new threshold in genetics and technology. Power and unstoppable yield momentum. And it's only from DeKalb. That's right, DeKalb. It's the M&M Meat Shop's final end challenge. Watch today's Season of Champions game to the end of this broadcast for a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card or a trip for two to Sochi, Russia for the 2013 World Junior Curling Championships. Don't miss the M&M final end challenge. Before we pick up play, let's check the numbers after five, Linda. Well, the bottom line is great performances by both teams. The big difference is at the fourth thrower. Maria Putz for Sweden at 65% and Miriam Ott at 90%. And that's how the steal came about in that last hand. The numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Hortons. It's time for Tim's. On this Sunday, our final day here in Lethbridge at the NMAX Center. We welcome you back to this gold medal game, the 2012 Ford World Women's Curling Championship. Switzerland with the steal in five to take a 3-2 lead. Sweden, once again, will have Last Rock playing Yellowstones here in six. A little mistake by Switzerland to leave those rocks together. It was supposed to stop out in front. That guard slides in, and there's the nose hit that leaves the two rocks frozen. He brushed it to that spot, too. I'm not sure whether they thought they could tap it, but any separation obviously would have been better than what just happened. Just almost a perfect freeze. And Kogan peels the guard, rolls the shooter out of play. Yep. The teams at this level are getting so much better at those peels. You're, you're playing them across the uh, whole sheet when you make contact. The speed's higher than it used to be, and uh, we don't see that many mistakes anymore. So this is one of those ends where it's a delay for Sweden, just keeping Switzerland busy by peeling guards. Don't want to bring your rock into the house too soon. There has to be a play made on the yellow-red combination. So the change is being made, putting it in, and then if Switzerland does nose hit it at the back of the house, you could freeze another one in there. Maria Vennerstrom. Just, per oh, yeah. just precision here. Maria is struggling a little bit, but the other three are 95 combined. It's hard when it's your last rock thrower mm. that is struggling. Maria Putz uh, is the one right now who's what? making the mistakes. What? is better than sticking there. Well, a wonderful year for Alberta curling continues. Let's see, both men's and women's juniors. Of course, Heather Nedowin, Scottish champion, now bronze medalist. Look at this. In the Canadian seniors playing at Abbotsford and women's, Kathy King, former Canadian junior, wins over Kathy Cunningham from St. John's, Newfoundland. And Rob Armitage of Red Deer. 
defeats Glenn Goss of St. John's. So congratulations. They played that at the Abbotsford Recreation Center. And also this weekend, the Canadian Wheelchair Championships. They played that at the Fort William Club in Thunder Bay. And from the Cali Curling Club in Regina, Darwin Bender is a winner over Alberta. And Bruner Yitzik out of the Calgary Curling Club. You're right about Alberta, though, winning or in the final in all of the events. That's true. I thought Sweden would freeze to that uh, Swiss rock, but I guess it was uh, close enough to the T-line. I think for Kathy, Kathy King, Jr. Scotties. Senior no, seniors. Wow, incredible. We've got a seniors team up here. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you Wednesday night at the staff curling. Yeah. I was good. I could get into the hack. I just couldn't get out. <laughs> And a little claustrophobic here for Sweden. You can, you can hit it, but you don't want to roll in either direction, really. By, uh, Switzerland to work this rock up into a position here. You hit this dead on. And it's going to be a difficult shot for Sweden to sit to and not set up a double. Some of the medals, trophies that will be presented immediately following this gold medal game. We know that Canada will pick up their bronze medals after a win earlier today over Korea. She says you want to hit this right on the nose. I think so, Vic. The numbers tell you that she's playing well. She's, we're seeing that she's throwing well. Um, a lot of us don't have that, ever experienced that, Russ, when you come out. And you just know it. You know, batters will say they see the seams on the ball when they're having a good day. Or, you know, the quarterback, everything just seems to be in slow motion. Do you know that you're having a good day? Do you sense yeah, that you're yeah. having a good day? No question. Yeah, absolutely, and you can see it. You can, you can, you can almost see the rock hurling down into that spot. You can, you're reading the spots. Uh, in the case of Miriam, the the draw weights in the back pocket. You just feel where they're going. And some days you have it, some days you don't. And it's uh, for Miriam, she's uh, been superb so far. And it's one of those things, Vic, that you don't think much about it, and you shouldn't. It just happens. It's uh, hard to explain even why one day you're debating in your mind and nothing seems clear and nothing works and the next day you just let it all go and just throw the rock how many times have we heard a team come off the ice say uh, the ice, ice is tricky and the other team walks off the ice says this is stuff's awesome <laughs> same sheet yeah. <clears throat> 
Ni kan mot. Okay. Vill du komma och kika? Ja, jag vet hur det ligger, Magan. What would happen if you froze in there again? Bestäm du, Magan, du ser bäst. You could freeze into the pocket. Vilken bra så gör vi den. Spela vilken. Okej, spela vilken. bara lite. Ska vi verkligen flytta något? Va? Det känns ingen bra att flytta någonting. Bara, bara en halv sten. Ska jag mota? Har inte de dubben då? Va? Då har ju de dubben. Nej, inte om den ligger i vägen. Okej, okay. skicka på en sten. Det är bra. Spela vilken då? Ja. Ska jag bara fylla? What has got them so concerned here? Well, it's a tricky situation. If you do freeze like I suggested and Miriam guards it, you're, you know, you're looking at two, uh, two rocks. Uh, you, can, you can play the easy way out here, play the red double, but you're going to set up a double. So I think they're trying to decide just where to roll here. And I'm assuming they're going to hit and flop in just a little bit. And then there will not be a double. Can't roll outside. Like that, that's well done. Well, the beautiful part about that is if uh, Switzerland guards, they can't guard both raises. Yeah. Gate is a huh? Come up a snow order. But the Nina Nina hope. You wouldn't need to snow spill it. Nina hope. So, Miriam thinks that she can just get across the nose here, push it out without disturbing her own red? Is that, that the thought? That, that's what she's hoping. And, and Linda, it's hard to tell from here, but if you do hit that dead on, and then Sweden hits the yellow dead on, they might only be laying one. Yeah, that's the plan, that the rock that Maria throws near their last would not be superior to the one that's about to be played by Miriam. This is very precise hitting, though. Stone here in six for Switzerland. Kungreiner now right on the beak. And they've overlapped it. Boy, that's good. That is really good. But it's from the material behind. Okay. Nice watch. Clearing. Yeah. 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 The double's pretty easy, but how far will this yellow one go? And how can you keep this rock from staying in the rings? If the yellow red's frozen, there's, there's a slight angle that worries me a little bit. If the yellow for red's frozen enough, you can hit this pretty hard and then get the top one. But the final stone right now it is Switzerland sitting one. Maria Prutz. One Swiss stone goes. Oh my goodness, how good was that? Sweden picks up two to retake the lead. It's okay to take the occasional gamble, as long as it's something like switching from boxers to briefs. But you never roll the dice on your truck. So go with the short thing, Ford F-150. J.D. Power & Associates just gave F-150 their highest award for initial quality. Add to that the best mix of torque and fuel economy you get with its EcoBoost engine, and your money, baby. This is the future. This is the Ford F-150. What is pure comfort? 
It's a soft blanket after a hard day. Pure comfort is the touch of a childhood friend. Pure comfort is a moment to yourself. Pure comfort is what you trust. Purex is pure comfort. Canada's economic action plan is helping create jobs and growth. I got grants to help pay for my apprenticeship, but getting this job is where it really paid off. It's pretty cool work, too. Thank you. And I got support to help retrain for a new job. It is great to be back to work. In a fragile global economy, Canada has a plan focused on jobs and growth. To find out more, visit actionplan.gc.ca. A message from the Government of Canada. Congratulations, Johnny! You've just won your first curling trophy by playing in the easiest bum spiel in the province. Okay, it wasn't that easy. He practiced hard. He went on a road trip with the boys to a small town he'd never heard of. He enjoyed a beverage with some new friends. Where he won! A toaster off the raffle table. Yes, Johnny the Hammer has had quite a year! And it all started with a click. Before we got the Capital One Aspire card, we never had enough miles to get away together. Aloha. Isn't it beautiful, honey? Mm. Let me show you around. <laughs> Wait till you see the clubhouse. I can see you, Carl. But now, thanks to Aspire, I get double miles on all my purchases, so we can actually get away together. The Aspire card. Get two reward miles on every dollar spent, plus a 35,000 first purchase bonus. What's in your wallet? I can see you, Carl. Stole. It is Alberta good, City good. one. Perfect. Just oh. angle it back. Angle it to the button. Yeah. Oh, goodness. What a shot. Wow. Kevin Tui just had his pocket picked. So Glenn Howard gathers himself. Final stone. Saville and Lang. And there is no more heartbreak for Howard. The 2012. Tim Horton's Briar Champions. And so, next week, our attention will turn to the men's worlds in Basel, Switzerland. And wearing the Maple Leaf will be Glenn Howard from Coldwater, Ontario, as he opens against Thomas Dufour. We'll have it for you next Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. The medals, the keeper trophies that will be presented to the gold, silver, and bronze medal teams at this year's Ford World Women's Curling Championship in Lethbridge. Wonderful shot made by Maria Putz on an evening where she, Linda, has struggled a little bit as Sweden gets a couple to retake the lead, 4-3. And here in the seventh, it will be Switzerland that has the last rock playing the Redstone. So it's always interesting to see the choices made by the two teams for strategy. Last in, Sweden got a little gift by Switzerland making a mistake early, putting their two stones too close together. Margareta Sigfridsson took full advantage. This end, Sweden decided to bring the first one in. And I guarantee you that Switzerland was hoping to be able to blank seven and take the hammer and eight and get their deuce on that even end. So right now it's according to the Swiss plan. Two hammers to one and we follow it through eight and ten if there aren't any steals for Switzerland. Carmen Kung hangs it in the uh, top 12. Maria Vennerstrom. Maria. 
So a little pause, and there's been some complicated ends and maybe a lot of conversation, so time clocks may be part of the problem here. Christina Bertru as we play third stones up and down the sheet here in seven. We did have two blanks to start in one and two for Sweden opened with a couple. Switzerland got two and four. They stole in five when Maria Prutz was heavy with her two stones back to back. Sweden replied with two and six to take the lead. That may be the only concern for Sweden, and Russ pointed it out at the time. Maria Putz has only played two draws. Here's another end of hitting, and those two draws were both heavy, so it doesn't seem at this stage that she has the feel, and she was so remarkable in round-robin play in both the hitting and draw game, and you have to think as this game progresses, you're going to need a key draw from your last draw thrower. Yes, yeah, Switzerland would love to keep her hitting, that's for sure, and have to make that big draw under pressure with the... Not a lot of opportunities to get that feel. Missed them both. Dan has been a lot of nice shots, even in these open hits. We saw it in the first end. Both teams were 100% that end on their hits. And uh, nobody's giving up. Nobody's giving a rollout to allow the other team a simple draw. That's what I've noticed that this whole event is the best uh, women's competition I've ever witnessed. Uh, so much parity, so many good shots. Uh, we used to say you curl 80%, you'd win the majority of your games. Both these teams are at 91. Incredible numbers. Those. It's also a reflection in Jamie Barras and Mark uh, Sherrick, the two uh, ice techs. Uh, yeah. Impeccable surface. I do think the ice is the biggest difference mm -hmm. in play over the last three decades. It makes such a difference. We used to talk about numbers of 75% being a benchmark. It's not even close to that anymore. You can have such pristine conditions and great curl and the stones are conditioned to get that curl. Everything leads to big numbers. Well, there is uh, Jamie Barasa. It's a homecoming of sorts for him. He is originally from this area of southern Alberta, now makes his home up in uh, Calgary. So, Jamie, it's always nice to see you. Thank you for all the work you've done. And to Mark Sheriff as well. Thank you, fellows. You've done a wonderful job this week.
You've begin being given the opportunity to roll out with this one to take the hammer. You certainly do not want to stick. Final stone here in seven. Area Mott. And out the side. So playing the scoreboard to perfection for Switzerland. They're down by one, but here in eight. Coming up, they'll have the last run. To increase fuel efficiency, it injects tiny droplets of fuel directly into the combustion chamber. So you can enjoy every drop. The all-new Ford Focus. What's this? New beef lasagna casserole. Tim says lasagna now? With garlic toast. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's like home cooking. Yeah. Thanks, Mommy. I mean, Manny, money, my man. Thanks, my man. What? Tim Horton's new beef lasagna casserole. Made with ricotta cheese, basil, oregano, and a tasty tomato sauce. Served with garlic toast. Just $4.49. She's known as the brain. First, she had the mental fortitude to triumph over her disability. Then she invented a piece of equipment that transformed the way she delivered a stone. It changed her game and allowed her to triumph in the sport of curling. Sonia Godet, Paralympic wheelchair curling, one of the super athletes. Before I got the Capital One Aspire card, I was awful at anniversary gifts. Happy anniversary! It burns stats! Buttons? Yep, I had her stuffed. Happy anniversary! Looking good, Tina. <laughs> but now, thanks to Aspire, I get 10,000 bonus reward miles every year. So anniversaries are awesome. The Aspire card. Get 10,000 reward miles every anniversary, plus two miles on every dollar spent. What's in your wallet? It has an available dual-clutch six-speed automatic transmission that changes gears so efficiently you can get up to 977 highway kilometers on a single tank. Changing the way you think about changing gears. The all-new Ford Focus. Escorted by Corporal Franz Levesque from the Lethbridge Detachment on the left, Constable Jason Gerard from the Raymond Detachment of the RCMP, the World Women's Championship Trophy is brought into the NMAX Center and will be awarded to the winner of tonight's gold medal game here in Lethbridge as we welcome you back. Blank in seven means Sweden continues to lead 4-3, but Switzerland will have that all-important last rock here in eight. Slow down. You know this spot's pretty fast once it comes off the line. Well, she really kicked out. I don't think the brushers think it has a hope. Okay. Now those are disappointing. You're at 96 percent of your Janine Griner, and that one slides in. It was supposed to be the corner guard that would set up the deuce. You're playing against a lead in Margareta Sigfridsson, who's at 100%, so it's <laughs> unlikely she's going to make a mistake. Wow. You have to get your rocks in the right spot. It's one of the best uh, comments I've heard in a long time was Margareta saying before the event, I throw the stones, the skips, the, uh, the lead stones, I only get what I deserve. It's a wonderful attitude. Obviously motivates her to play well. She's been terrific. 
can actually use this to your advantage now. Put something in between those two in a guard position. It's hard to peel. more than they wanted directly in front of one of the yellows. Okay, okay. Yeah, they are okay for all. I think the is so good. We can run all together. We can run all together. We It's tempting. You're sitting too. You've... Uh, you might have a force on at this point in time, but it's so early, and that is a dangerous red rock. Hey, hey, up! Damn, jump! Maria Vennerstrom avoids the jam on those uh, sw Swedish stones, top 12 and top edge of the four foot center line. I'm going to give a little more ice here and try to get this guard, this tight guard in the three position, virtually between the two yellows, and it's very tough to remove it then without hitting it straight through, and that will leave a guard. Ian Max Center getting a little loud here in this eighth. As they Try to get the wave going around. This is plan B going for the freeze. And right down on the corner. Not taking enough ice no shots. Carmen Kung's has had a few uh, really over curl and you, you wonder. Well, we've talked about this red set. There was uh, some problems that Korea had with them and an over curl and the rocks going a little slower. And then the next time we saw them, it didn't occur and we sort of brushed it off. But it is possible that one stone out of a set of eight mm -hmm, sure. is a little different. Skulle vilja slå löst också så att vi kommer åt den sen. Ja. Jättebra att ligga tre. Nej. Inte dumt att trycka ner den där bakan. Ja, jag tycker vi ska bara trycka den hit. Ja. Sen, det är som att vi skippar hem, men sen vi ska vi lägga den. Det vore lätt att spela en 20. Bara slå vilka. Ja, men det blir... Då kommer den här bara fara. Ja, men jag tycker det är okej. Okay. Tycker vi ska slå löst det. Ja, jag tycker också vi ska slå löst det. Jag är med på 60. Vi spelar en 60. Vi ger dem två tempot. Om vi går på här. Ja, ja spela 60. Vi brukar lägga tre. Eller vi kommer lägga tre. Halv tre. Ja. Ja. Trycker vi den liksom framför tio. Så vi ska vi komma 60. Inte bara 60. Ganska tunn träff. Jo, men vi kommer vicka dit och den kommer tryckas just framför tio. Så det är bra att mm. 60 försvinner ju inte. Det är en liten quirk av um, Margaretas. Ja. When before she puts the brush down, she always just a couple of times pops that uh, brush head into the ice before she puts it down. Those heads are on a swivel, so it also uh, puts it in the proper position so that she can hold it up to for the thrower to view it. Now looking to roll over. That's nice curling. Maria Venerstrom, you bet. And again, the impressive thing here, to my mind, is just the weight that's thrown to do the job. Nice and soft, got the tap, left the three yellows in the house. Switzerland will have to move some granite now, move some things around. Sie 
It's pretty early to worry about who will be shot over the one if you nose hit this. I think that's the call that knows that the double, it's an easy double if you roll out and then that's the end of your entire end. You have to hang around with this. Carmen Kung looking to bang it right on the nose. Over curl. Okay. But it did stay for second shot. And there are rocks in play, and granted, it's not the guards that Miriam hoped for, and it's not the positioning in the house you hoped for, but there are still some possibilities. It certainly is a double or two, or you get a mistake from your opponent, a rollout, and you're in business. Oh, they jump all over. Christina Bertrude's stone trying to hold it. Prutz Venerstrom. She said it was difficult. Perfect. She wants to try the double. The one good news is that a long way for it to roll. If it does hit it in the wrong spot, it has to roll a long way to be out of the rings. This is, uh, I think, the forte of the, the team here. Carmen's a great hitter. It's right there. Shot stone for the moment. Switzerland here in the eighth, and they do have the last rock. Really scared that back rock, too. Any thinner. And these are hard to call. This looks like it's a miss for the first part, then it comes over enough to get it. Christina Bertru. Ah! Nay, nay. And the shooter rolls nay, nay. underneath and will pop out the wide side. Did it come out enough for a double, though? It's close. Looks like it did. It's a high side double, but you would then roll out. So you don't want to do that. You could hit it dead on and keep the two reds in play. You might. You might be able to get to the inside, make the double. Oh. Oh. Carmen Schaffer. Oh. 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 Nothing from Kung or Greiner oh. at all here. Oh, she'll stuff it. Okay. And shot stone is Sweden. Double opportunity or something split the house. 
siis seda lähti nad siin vetsam ja hakkab koopsa. Veel tõmbe nii siida panus. Ma teie veel tommi veel ja meil on. Sest loonam nii, et äh, see peenid tõsu küül. Splitting the house would be easier, except Maria is throwing two draws, missed them both. We have to factor that into your decision. And I think that was the question down the ice to the thrower, and looks like she's indicating she'd rather play the hit. Double, obviously, you miss it uh, low side, you, or, and you can also miss it high side. You hit it thick, the red will stay. Prutz jammed it, jammed it, and loses the shooter now. What a turnaround here. You just have to make sure you take enough ice. They've been throwing guards. They were actually over curling in this spot. And this is another one where as long as you get the angle on that yellow one, there won't be a double left. Reminds me a little bit of the, the game with the U.S. where she didn't take enough and over curled and was not second shot. They ended up giving up four on the second end and just with perfect weight just didn't take enough ice. And it's just talking about hitting it maybe. I think that spot has them a little scared. Mm -hmm. There seems to be hair less curl than uh, certainly earlier in the week. Maria threw that awfully hard though, and a lot of power in that. Uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't simple. You had to. Hit it right on the X to make the double. Huh? She was close. Miriam Ott in her first Switzerland with Last Rock here in eight. Just a dust from Kung and Greiner. Need to hang around here. And will. Well, you said that Miriam Ott was playing well. That's an indication. It certainly is. And the style of play is interesting. There have been a few draws that have been very key for Miriam. 100% on those, but they are hitting through this game and making some beauties. It is those draws for Maria Putz that have been the problem. Well, if you're Switzerland, wouldn't you like to get her into the draw game then? The player numbers are brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Is there a double here? Or is it too flat? I think it's too flat, Vic. It's, uh, I think you could throw it hard enough and hit it thick enough to roll over and maybe touch the red, but this would have to just be a laser to, to make the double. Yeah. Final stone for Sweden. What's she got here? Maria Prutz. One and whoa, just underneath. That was a laser. I think a little thicker would have been uh, would have been makeable. Yeah, big weight from her. Really do that hard. Just have to hit a good inch or so more, which would slow down that shooter a little bit. Leaning and not quite. So anywhere in the house, in the paint for two for Switzerland. One shot here or there. You know, Maria jamming and then rolling out the shooter. And here is Switzerland with what they wanted when they blanked seven is to get two and eight. I squat. What? 
Nice to hear the brushers call out good when you let it go. Miriam Ott, Switzerland. Pick up two here in eight. And we can hear cowbells around the Inmax Center. A timeless tradition. The Masters, Augusta National. A beautiful stage for the top golfers in the world, playing for the glory and prestige symbolized by the champion's green jacket. Don't miss a moment with your choice of extended coverage on tsn.ca, plus exclusive live feeds on the TSN Masters app for iPhone and iPad. Our coverage starts with a par three contest. The Masters starts April 4th on TSN. To save fuel, it makes itself more aerodynamic by automatically closing its grill vents, leaving you breathless. The all-new Ford Focus with active grill shutters. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. Yes. Hey, how can we never watch a game in your place? Ah, oh, your HD is amazing. So switch. Oh, changing providers. With Bell, it's easy. One phone call, they can install as early as tomorrow. <sighs> okay, look. The other reason I come here is I love Janet's decor. I mean, it's classic, but there's still a bit of old world whimsy about That chaise is lovely. Chair. Daniel and Grace dream of retiring. Proper protection, an emergency savings plan, adequate retirement income, and taking the trip of a lifetime to Paris. But how can Daniel and Grace make their dreams come true? At World Financial Group, we help families like Daniel and Grace make their financial dreams a reality. Let us help your family too. World Financial Group, your dreams, our strategies. In his first two seasons of curling, Alex Marchand won seven games. Eight. I'm sorry, eight games. In that time, he put together a two-game winning streak, got new uniforms, met an Olympic gold medalist, made the front page of Curling Monthly. He explained to his boss what sweeping does and got his butt kicked by a guy with a fake hip. Yes, Alex the Hack Marchand has had quite a year, and it all started with a click. It might be hard to believe that the new Focus can virtually park itself. Till you actually see it park itself the all-new ford focus with available active park assist time now for the m m meet shops final end challenge right after the game go to final end.ca enter the secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 world junior curling championships in sochi russia the first 100 entries will have a chance to win a 50 dollar m m gift card and all participants will get an m m discount Final and challenge the secret word. You have to wait for it. On this gold medal night here at the NMAX Center in Lethbridge, we go to nine. Sweet is down by one. And we do have the last rock playing the Yellowstone. Center line guard goes up, and the round comes to Swedes. And this ninth end plan is always so critical. Janine Greiner with the 92%, but playing against the 100% lead on Sweden. You have to make these well. Switzerland will give one, of course. Doesn't mind even two, but you don't want to give up more, and you're trying not to give them a blank opportunity. Oh, yes, Dustin. I know. Oh! Oh, that's Lamp Oh, oh, oh. Little mistake there.
Cubs where Maria as the last rock thrower and Margretta as a skip have to work together a little bit calling up and down because Margretta is trying to direct the plan for the end. And move the broom over a little bit. Margretta. She's been remarkable. Decided to tap this now. They were going to freeze for a while. has gotten noisy. Oh, goodness. And then rolls over on top of her own. And now Sweden is sitting two covered. Yeah, this is a critical moment. You have two stones grouped. You could peel the guard and Hope that you have just a chance to give up a two. Would you do? Would you run it back, or would you open it up? As she's asking. I don't know. I think if you knew you're going to make the run back. The problem with the run back is you miss it by a bit. You leave a corner guard, and that allows other cover for Sweden. I, I think you peel it at this point. That's really a single for a, a team of this caliber. That that double will be made. So. By peeling, you're only giving up a two at the most, and you'll have, you've got lots of chances to get out of that. There's the corner. Okay. You could simply guard that double for a while. Even if they made the peel, it probably wouldn't be a, a raised double. You, you know, you could make it, but it's tough. This is going to call for a little discussion. Have to make sure to guard the right hand side of that uh, highest rock. If you leave the uh, center line side open, there will not be a double, it'll jam. If you do miss the guard. <laughs> well, they're all raising the games, aren't they? No, it's being brilliant. That's why one little mistake now is going to be very costly. Maria Venerstrom, they were looking for the guard. Too deep. Oh, brother. They crack this the right way. Do they all go? Absolutely. Dead on. Lots of weight. They all fly there. Yikes. Side a little bit, nothing yet. Reiner or Schaffer all on its own, and she'll just get the top rock. There's that case you uh, you knew a lot of speed was uh, beneficial, and you you overthrow it, lose the timing a little bit. When you gave it the pop, release the push, you pushed a little bit outward. She'd love that one back. Yeah, well, and so would Miriam Ott. She's uh, terribly frustrated by that throw and uh, not being able to make the triple. Well, you know that was your best chance. You give the Swedish team another chance to put the better guard in position. One more chance, and here it is, the second one. Oh, I'm not sure if they get it across here. 
Not enough to uh, hit Come one in. of them, but I don't think he can make the double because they did guard. They were clever enough to guard the right side, but that's an awfully long one. And the nice thing for Switzerland, though, they can get a rock in a better position mm. now, top of the house. They just go bang, bang. Stay right on top. There's a great example how tough these guards are. One was too long, one was too short. Once they're short, they don't have time to curl. So they think they can get to the nose. I think you have to be careful. They're talking about weight here back and forth. I think you have to take enough ice that you're sure to get through that hole, even if you have to pull the weight back and just make a quieter hit. Trying to hold it now, get it through the hole. It's going to ride that center line. Kung, Griner, get it through the hole. They thought they could, oh, they just feather it. They thought they get it to the nose. And they'll get rid of one. How close did they come? Beautiful shot. That control of weight, though, that allows you to be a little off and on. Not a problem by the guard, and they're a little curl at the end to get to the nose. Good discussion back and forth to pull the weight back. It changes all the rules here. Uh, Sweden has to be careful. They can draw around and sit too, but that's a dangerous raise. Tough to take enough ice here too. If you come right around the guard good to the button, you might set up a, a double to keep this out in the edge of the four yeah. almost. <laughs> don't want it to curl enough that with the red yellow works. <laughs> Christina Bertru with a nervous draw to the T-line side of the button. Ja, aber das ist ja nicht so. Entweder du musst noch mal so einen, dann kann man mir fast einen Rührer schnappen. Das bringt nichts, dann müsstest du so probieren, da rausnehmen oder so einen Frieß machen. Ja. Dann musst du alles machen. Nein. Meinst du, so geht's? Nein, das gehört schon. Es ist einfach riskant, wenn man vorne nachher. So we Yeah. Do you think with the uh, with the in turn down the center line that it'll actually get by that rock top of the eight? I wouldn't want to be throwing it, but I think it is possible, Vic. But you're playing on that center line, and then once it breaks, they'll have trouble holding it. They can, if you throw a lot of weight and you miss it, and you hit the red one in the rings, you take out the one yellow Swedish rock. But I think the draw that I illustrated, the same shot that was just thrown by Sweden, Freeze went in there, and then you've got both rocks on top of the opposition's rocks. Switzerland has called for a uh, coach's visit, and so this is uh, their coach, Thomas Lips. <laughs> You can also play the uh, same shot that uh, Carmen Schaffer just played the outturn tap and have two red at the top. I'd be tempted to do that. Yeah. 
äh, sie zwingen einen zu machen mit dem Droh. Da wird schenken. Mit dem Fries. Äh, wenn er noch vor der Nacht ist, der ist gut, aber weißt du, wenn du von innen den spielst, äh, ich denke, er geht, aber er übergirlt er. Ja. Er wird rausgehen und dann, dann geht sie dran an und dann, wenn sie nur tappt, wird es schwierig für uns. Wenn er nur vor der Nacht ist. Ja, ja. Wenn er nur vor der Nacht ist, ist es gut für sie, macht es noch unheimlich Druck nach vorne. Das ist genau richtig. Das ist eine gute Chance. Ja. 4 zu 4 haben wir gehabt. So Linda, freeze, yes, his coach Lip says even leave it top eight. Now I'm a little surprised. I thought with the Carmen's they'd actually play the red and yellow. Maybe look at where you want to roll the shooter, if you could roll it a little bit or leave them stacked so that it's hard for Sweden to do anything about it. And then with Miriam's shot, because she's playing so well, then try to draw to that Swedish stone, but it's a draw right now. And if I heard her correctly, because you're right, Carmen Schaffer suggested, why don't I just play the same thing through the hole onto my, the red to the yellow? And then, didn't she say Miriam? But then they'll just come in the other way again. Well, they could, but then you're, if you don't make it now with this one, you're in big trouble. Yes! By the guard, got to get it by the guard, have to get it by the guard, get it by the go oh, now, wait and wait and wait. They've done their job and here it comes right down on top. <laughs> well, it's one thing for the coach to tell them what to do and it's another for the players to get it there and he did just that. Kogan Greiner with a great brush. Keep in mind from the hack that rock they came to they stopped in front of was over curled by a, almost a full stone. That could be the rock that forces uh, Sweden to a single. If you could ever get through that hole at the end turn with about a backline weight, you might tap that red one that was just throwing a roll inside, but that's a small, small port. Christina Bertrand. Yep. Order it. Come through the hole again. Brooks and Benerstrom just backing off. Still flirting with that guard. Still flirting with the guard. Now they found the hole. L and the double bump. And it'll spill too far. Sits at the back edge of the four. You know what, though, that uh, where that yellow rolled, there might be a yellow, red, red double. Interesting. It's buried, though. Now, that's the thing. The guards are complicating the angles a little bit. So the front end are pointing out to the position of those rocks in the middle. So it looks like it works. If you hit the uh, yellow on the high side on the right hand side with a lot of weight, the red red would go. But you must have a how do you get to that yellow stone? Though? Well, true, it's buried right at this point in time, but if uh, if Sweden played the run back and even missed it, then you'd have to guard it perfectly with and Sweden would have one more try at it. Right now, you're right, Rick, would have to be a long ra raise. Yeah. 
in der Tasche. Ich finde es gut. Ja. Ja. Und das ist so schlimm vorne. Wenn sie den schiesst, ist es auch nicht so schlimm. Now well, let's see. Then she's seeing it now and points out that guard too. You guys and your Swiss German, you're gonna take care of me next week. <laughs> Basil. Do you know how to do a carbonara? <laughs> Just like that. Oh. There'll be so much English spoken, you have no idea. <laughs> we hardly use our Swiss German. <laughs> So when in doubt, bring another one in. Good plan. You can come to the back, yellow, I believe. This is another one of those wide draws. So they've talked about the speed with Miriam. Look at her, my goodness. Was this all about Russ getting another one in there? Yes, exactly, in case that shot is pulled off that we talked about. Uh, Miriam can sit uh, second and third here and really, really force Sweden to a single. Well, that's gonna need some work, that's light. Maybe that might help Sweden here. Okay, okay. What you're thinking, angle red, now onto the yellow. Possibly. Okay. That might drag it a little bit and force the one red okay. to stay. But. That's really her first miss, if you think about uh, full shots that have been missed in this game. Must go so tight for them. Are they for time out now? Det känns som går man i den så är inte det någon värld katastrof. Nej. Då är den borta. Ja. Vi tar time out. Ja, ja jag tror det. Ja. Time out. This is a It's slow end and now calling for a coach visit. So Frederick Hallstrom will make his way to the end. Var det gör någonting på den röda som du står vid nu? Känns som att den nästan ligger tjapp med den. Den kommer liksom fastna här. Ja, det känns så. Okej. Vi är ju för sig Det är lite mycket kraft. Risken är att du vickar den skott naturligtvis. Det är det som är risken. Ja. Men vi kommer ju... Den kommer ju gå längre... Om du spelar jätte, jätte hårt. Den röda kommer gå längre hitåt än vad vi tror, tror jag. Ja, den kommer sitta mer tjappt där uppe. Kommer den här och riva med sig den här på ovansidan? Nej, den kommer sitta här. Och är det där inget bra den där, kom, den där kommer bli skottet. Ja. Tycker jag måste gå i foten. Ja, då finns det det. Det går inte att komma åt egen gul där eller vad den vägen. Nej. Nej. Men alltså, är det inte bra att gå tajt och så får vi ta bort den annars? Ja. Det är tio sekunder. Den har gått om tid på det. Tänk igenom den, Ova. Jag tycker att gå i hålet men innan är okej. Okay. Ja. Och så är det okej okay om vi tar den här. I think it's clear whatever you try is difficult. Looks like they're going to try that in turn through the hole. Tough. You have to actually curl away from the stone you're hitting and driving it the other way, basically, right? Yeah, there it is there, Vic. You want to uh, negotiate that right-hand uh, red one. Hope it curls enough to miss the red at the top of the uh, eight-foot. 
and even then the red that second shot will take out the back one I think and uh, they're hoping to shoot a roll over if they can throw it firm enough they could sit two I guess but you're right on the center line here this is tough Maria Prutz Big scrub, big scrub, get it through the hole, get it through the hole. Wow. Oh, oh. and it crashed. Unbelievable, it wasn't there. It wasn't there with that weight, a little lighter it was there, but. Ooh. Boy, there was almost the assumption that once you got it through yeah. that it would break in. Mm -hmm. Just a hair extra weight as if you could call this a bad shot, but just, oh my goodness, if you get by, you're, you're laying two for sure, buried maybe three. Oh. Frederick Hallstrom. Yeah. We just don't in the back for his second shot. So it's guard or put another one in to act as your best chance to protect against a score. Both teams burning a lot of time here. And I had lots of time going into this end, but it is rapidly declining. And both teams have used their uh, coaches' visits. So that's their time remaining. This will be the final stone for Switzerland here in the ninth. I think Miriam's going right in, Linda. She is. It's a great call. Shows the uh, the confidence in herself and her teammates, the brushing ability. You have managed to get this in front of the red to the inside a little bit. I don't think Sweden can score. You can't tick that front one. You can't oh. open it up. And of course, you can't you know leave it a little you? open and yeah. let it roll in off something. Oh. Had her draw weight all game. Miriam Ott looking to pull out of her pocket a little T line weight. Shot stone is Switzerland. Second shot though is Sweden back of the four foot. She pumped it in the hole, Vic. That exact same shot that was just missed. It's really tough shot. It's the same shot for a potential two now. Yeah, that had to be a little lighter and brushed in. First time Miriam's been heavy. Remember yeah. the first one was a little light. That was so wide. This one was a path that had been polished a little more and it slides too far. What a shame. Any anything lighter. This is not a gimme. We just saw it. Uh, just getting through the first hole is an accomplishment. You're playing with the center line again. Luckily for Sweden, the yellow guard that they ticked is ticked over enough that there's a wee bit more room, but it's not like you could drive a truck through there. So final stone here in this ninth. And out of her hand, they pick it up very early. Venerstrom and Bertru very early picking it up. Very early, trying to get a five. They did now. Out the back, there it is. Two for Sweden here in nine. Bill Kareem in the Sports Center newsroom. Here's what we're working on for Sports Center, which comes your way at 10 p.m. Eastern. Tiger Woods, well, he's back. Final round of the Oliver Palmer Invitational. Tiger Woods approach on the par 4 8. Settles inside three feet, leading to his fourth birdie of the day and a three shot lead on 18. Woods taps in for par. He finished up at 13 under for the tourney, taking home his first PGA Tour event win. Since 2009, on the ice, Devils Penguins, second period, Sidney Crosby to Craig Adams. 
Pascal Dupuy all over the rebound. His 23rd, 4-2 Penguins in the third. Wild and Capitals are appeared. Alex Ovechkin, how hot has he been as of late? He gets his 36th of the year here. Washington winning 3-0. They now tie the Sabres for eighth in the East. And Milos Raonic has withdrawn from the Sony Ericsson Open with an ankle injury. Much more coming up on SportsCenter at 10 p.m. Eastern. Canadians are crazy about curling, and so are their kids. Thanks to the Capital One Rocks and Rings program, thousands of kids across Canada have learned about curling in their elementary schools. From coast to coast, Rocks and Rings has kids screaming, hurry hard, and having a great time doing it. Our instructors get kids active and excited to learn about a new sport. The kids love it, the teachers love it, and the best part is, the whole program comes to you. To get Rocks and Rings in your school, visit rocksandrings.com. DeKalb 73 Series Canola Hybrids. A new threshold in genetics and technology. Power and unstoppable yield momentum. And it's only from DeKalb. That's right, DeKalb. Softness is always in fashion. Nothing feels like cashmere. Great shot. Interesting, though, that the uh, Swiss really thought that yeah. they could get one in there and yeah. hold them to a single, but this is Maria Brooks at her very best. Just bumped it a hair too far, but this is a top shot. Buy one, buy two. Just curls enough this time, sticks it. And by that much, that stone at the back four biting. And Sweden picks up two and nine to retake the lead as back and forth we go in this gold medal game of the 2012 Ford World Women's Curling Championship from Lethbridge. And here in 10, Switzerland. They played for it. They wanted it. They have it. The last rock playing red stone. We've seen that it takes a lot to get a deuce, but the teams are making those big shots, so you don't want to leave any opening. Here's Margreta again, still 100%, putting the guard on her own rock. So Maria Prutz comes through for her skip, Margareta Siegfriedsen. First of all, she's, uh, she's uh, very um, committed to, to uh, practicing and playing, and uh, she, she has a lot of, um, she, uh, she really likes throwing the last rocks. She's re really enjoying that, and she's great at that one. And she's, she has very high expecta expectations on herself as well, and that, that's a few things that makes her so good. Well, you better enjoy throwing the last rocks, because that was pressure. Well, they've lost the line on this one. They were trying to get by and tap that one in the house. Okay. Instead, um, bump it up. So Sweden is sitting two for the moment without last rock. <laughs> you can see a lot of communication there. They didn't. They wanted that to be back 12-ish, uh, punch it aggressively, and uh, just uh, perfect line and just a, not a, quite enough weight. Think about the matanering in England. Trying to put a guard in the hole. Take it out, take it out. 
Maria Venerstrom draws the top 12. Let's take a look at the game's story so far. And what a game it's been. Well, there's been a lot of hits, and it's interesting that draws have caused the two teams problem in five. Sweden heavy on their last two draws. That's a steal. And then last stand, Miriam Ott, somewhere over the hog line, might have made it tough, but she's heavy, and that leaves the hit for two that puts Sweden ahead. And although those numbers are quite spread out, with Miriam Ott having a huge advantage, those misses last stand were very costly. As we watch Carmen Kung. That's one more over curl. I think uh, you have to anticipate that that is the stone. It has to be. The game story was brought to you by m and Meat Chops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. I don't think Sweden wanted the guardian as tight as they did, but I love where they put it. Absolutely loved it. Choked off the raise. It forced a top shot out of Carmen, and now big trouble for Switzerland. <laughs> it's two nice corner guards that Switzerland can use later, but uh, they have to worry about scoring here at this point. Now for the m and Meat Shop's final end challenge, and the secret word is peel. So right after the game, go to finalend.ca. Enter that secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 World Junior Curling Championships in Sochi, Russia. Going to spill more? No. Opens it up. Still is leave Sweden sitting the two. Real good shot, though. And it's hard to guard both of those yellows. They are the two corner guards out in front. That if you get a little hit and roll, now Sweden has to worry a little bit. So opportunities at least at least are presenting themselves to Switzerland. And almost wherever this stops, there'll be a hit and roll behind whichever corner Switzerland has available. Yeah. Has to be short of the rings here. Christina Bertrup. This is a big decision. Do you continue to try and open it up? You definitely could play second shot. You could even tap that one, stay on the corner of the shot rock. You could even make the double, but you'd roll out. I'm concerned about playing that and not getting shot and then another guard going up, so True. they'll try the run back. Not wrong. Made the first one too, same angle. This is be very, very close. Carmen Schaffer. Going to come up in time. Oh, oh, very nice. Boy, just enough. Spins it off the forefoot. Sweden is still sitting too. 
Well, this changes everything, though. Oh. When you have the rocks off the forefoot. You don't care that they're in the back of the house, behind the tee line, behind your guards even. Now you got some room to work. Two shots ago, it didn't look like they could score. Now they have a great opportunity to get the deuce. We can move it off. Come oh. on. Oh. Vennerstrom on the brush. <laughs> Just at three. <laughs> Made that a little too good. Either a little deeper or wide open so you could raise it. Switzerland will very do. Really can't use that rock. Okay. I haven't seen too many out here. Linda, do you remember anything? Well, they did earlier, so, but it's been a while. And remember the draw going the other way. And nine was very slow out there. Been a lot of draws, but uh, this will be a different path than a draw. Oh. What? Oh. 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 Oh, it doesn't look like it has a lot of speed oh. to it. Try just get across the nose just a little bit. Just play a little tap back and then roll if you can. How's that? Six for shot stone. Wow. That didn't look like a lot of ice for just a little tap, but very good ice reading and a lovely throw. Carmen Schaefer's been unbelievable. The, the come around freeze last end that uh, looked like it was going to force a double, then virtually a triple with her last shot, and then this one. Was this even makeable? To pick it? Yeah. Need some speed. You can see if that yellow rock that had just been thrown earlier by Sweden had stayed in the open, this would be a two foot run back. One at the top of the eighth there. Maria Frutz as we play the fourth stones in this tent. They backed right hey, off now. Hey, true. Vennerstrom. Catch a corner. Looking for the corner. Just the corner. And wow. now the jam at the back. Yeah. They'll get away with that. Lovely touch. Incredible. Look at the weight. Just perfectly played. This rock here could be the one that helps Switzerland. Partially buried here, it'll be tough to get by that back yellow. Yeah. First. Oh. 
trying to bend it around that stone top 12. And it will sit back edge for Switzerland has their tying point in position. Just a foot further than they wanted. Because of that back yellow, they can't hit it. It has to be a freeze. And we come back to Maria. She's made all the wonderful hits, but has not played those draws. Only two that I remember. One went through the house, one was a foot or so heavy. That was the one. Now one in, she played two draws. That was it. She's been heavy on the ones, and this spot's a hair slower than it was earlier in the game. You heard her skip, Margarita Sigfridsson say. She relishes being in this position, and no bigger shot right now. And this draw, her last in 10. Final stone for Sweden. Switzerland is sitting one. Petru Venerstrom on the brush, trying to bring it down to the corner. Need to pick a little bit more. A little bit more. Trying to drag it for all it's got. And it is the shot stone for the moment. Give her a ton of credit. What a turnaround for Maria. Well, this is a decision you have to make if you're Miriam. You could draw for the tie, but she's putting the brim down for the little look. To touch it over and roll for shot and a possible world championship. Just one inch higher, that shot's not there. A couple of inches deeper with the sweep, it's not there, but it's there. But boy, as you can see that angle, Marion can only hit about a third or less, and then you have to have the precise weight to hang around with that thrown rock. Final stone, is this a world title? For Switzerland right now, Sweden has the goals around their neck. Final rock, Miriam Ott. Kung, Greiner, backing off. You can hear Schaffer calling line. They just have to touch it sideways. Touch it sideways and hold the shooter. Touch it sideways. medal in 2008 and now in a sixth trip to the world Miriam up from Davos is the women's world champion Ford World Women's Curling is brought to you by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. Canada. It's spelled with a can, not a can't. Because when faced with adversity, Canadians look for a way, not a way out. We're a nation built by determination. So, when no one thought it was possible to unlock the oil sands, Canadian innovation and tenacity proved them wrong. Learn how Synovus is putting Canadian ideas to work in the oil sands today. Canada's Economic Action Plan is helping create jobs and growth. I got grants to help pay for my apprenticeship. But getting this job is where it really paid off. It's pretty cool work, too. Thank you. 
And I got support to help retrain for a new job. It is great to be back to work. In a fragile global economy, Canada has a plan focused on jobs and growth. To find out more, visit actionplan.gc.ca. A message from the Government of Canada. What is pure comfort? It's a soft blanket after a hard day. Pure comfort is the touch of a childhood friend. Pure comfort is a moment to yourself. Pure comfort is what you trust. Pure X is pure comfort. What presented itself here was a, a remarkable opportunity to come to Saskatchewan to work with Canada's only synchrotron. My wife found a great job, my kids love their school, and we love our new home. There's plenty of job opportunities and even more ways to have fun. professional independent advice of a licensed insurance broker working for you, you can sleep easy. Insurance brokers don't work for an insurance company. They find you the best insurance, getting you the right coverage at the right price, and are there to help in the event of a claim. So you can sleep easy. Your best insurance is an insurance broker. Well, Ford World Women's Curling is brought to you by Scotty's, proud supporter of women's curling for over 30 years. By m and Meat Shops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by World Financial Group, proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. Well, in Switzerland, the cheer always is Hop Schwitz. Well, that was a Hop Swiss <laughs> miss. World champion Miriam Ott is with Linda. Miriam, it was a wonderful game. Sweden to push you to make the Greek shots, and you certainly did just that. Yeah, absolutely. It was a great game, and uh, we had to fight hard, and we're so happy that we did it finally. Just, just tell me about that last shot. It was a very difficult little tick. Did you think it was made when you let it go? Well, hard to say. I knew that it was quite a hard shot to play, maybe. But I thought, okay, let's try it. Let's try it for this win. And uh, after I release it, it looked pretty good. I know that the weight was a little bit heavier, so I know that for a tick, it was perfect weight. So congratulations. Thank you. The Canadian team of Heather Nedewin, Beth Istu, Jessica Mayer, Laney Peters, Coach Daryl Horn making their way into the NMAX. Let us not forget fifth player Amy Nixon as well, who played two and a half games, winners of the bronze medal, followed by Sweden, Skip Margareta Sigfridsson, Maria Vennerstrom, Christina Bertru, and Maria Frutz, Sabina Kraut, Frederick Hallstrom. Please welcome the 2012 Four World Women's Champions Team Switzerland. From Davos. Skipped by Miriam Ott. With Carmen Schaffer, Carmen Kung, Janine Greiner, Alina Potts, their coach Thomas Lips, and their national coach, Andy Schwaller. The first win for a Swiss team since 1983. Erica Mueller, the third ever world championship for Switzerland. Oh, 
a lot of deep breaths as they take their place on the highest step of the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kate Kikas, President of the World Curling Federation, for its greetings and congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Kikas. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great week of curling we have enjoyed here in the NMAC Centre. This is our first World Championships in the city of Lethbridge, but I sincerely hope it will not be our last. This event, this event has been exceptional to the local organising committee, the Canadian Curling Association, together with our umpiring officials, ice techs, TV crew, media, webcasters, not forgetting the 300 plus volunteers who have worked tirelessly to ensure the success of this championship. Thank you on behalf of the World Curling Federation and our 48 member associations. To Ford of Canada, once more, can we thank you for your excellent sponsorship over the past 18 years? And also to all the other sponsors and the city of Lethbridge, thank you for your support. <laughs> to you, the athletes, you have cer certainly showcased our sport this week, not only with your undoubted skills, but also for your first class sportsmanship. Thank you. And, and finally, to you the fans, you have been great, thank you. It, it now only leaves me to congratulate the 2012 Ford World Women's Curling Champions, Team Switzerland, well done. Could I now call upon Laura Lachansky, Chair of the Board of Governors and for the Canadian Curling Association to present medals to the bronze medalists from Canada, starting off with their coach. <laughs> to their coach, Daryl Horn. They certainly come here, here. Linda Russ looking for gold, but they take home the bronze medal in a, in a trying week, particularly towards the end of the week. It was disappointing Thursday. They had the two losses, but they turned it around. When you watch this game we just watched, the gold medal game, you realize the standards that has been set in world women's play, it was not going to be easy for Canada. You have to be proud of them. A medal is a medal, and it's just so great to bring one back for your country. And uh, Great week, great year for Heather Nettleman. And no one wore the emotions more openly than Heather Nettowin and the team from the Savile Sports Centre in Edmonton. Bronze medal winners. President of the Swedish Curling Association who come uh, forward and present medals to the silver medalists from Team Sweden, starting things off with their coach. To their coach, Frederick Holstrom. One shot. Here, there, I mean, that's how, what the difference in the game was. It was a brilliant game. You had a 100% game from the skip, Margareta Siegfriedson. It came down to one brilliant shot by Switzerland. You can't really say that you lost a game. That other team took it away by great shot making. Unbelievable shot for two that uh, won the championship. And, uh, to make that draw, Maria made, uh, when she hadn't made one for about an hour. Beautiful stone. Sigfridsson. Could I call upon Armin Hart? Silver medalist. Sports, Sweet. Swiss Curling Association to present and there to you're looking at the future of Swedish curling. Starting with their coach. Their Thomas coach, Lips. Thomas. Remember when he came Good out and Lord. talked to them and said, come down and play the freeze and she was actually able to make that freeze as difficult as the shot was. Now, Carmen Schaffer near the end of the game was a big story in that game. The freeze and then a brilliant shot and 10 to open it up. Really a, a, almost a triple with the first one and then it comes around and makes a soft tap and uh, rolls buried, which ended up being the winning point.
There are a lot of people who are very happy for Miriam Hawk. Whose love of this game began when she was 10 years of age, and now she celebrates a world championship. To be presented by Corporal Franz Levesque of Lethbridge, Constable Jason Gerard of Raymond, the President of the World Curling Federation, Kate Kathanis. They are the world champions, Switzerland, to cap a wonderful week here in Lethbridge. For the very first time, the Ford Worlds came to Lethbridge, and the very best curlers from all over the world put on quite a show. When the week began, most people thought a Canada-Scotland showdown would be the finale, but as we found out, the world is full of many great teams, all with a story to tell. The United States had quite the ride, winning seven straight games after an 0-4 start. The Russians, well, they used a number of lineups trying to find that winning formula, but they never quite found the right mix, winning just four games. As the youngest team in Lethbridge, Scotland struggled too, but you just know Eve Muirhead will be back again soon. She's simply just too good not to be. That wasn't Wagner and Schopp leading Germany, but rather Lehmann and Robillard. And as the youngest player in the field for the fourth straight year, Stella Heiss reminded us all again that being a teenager is pretty cool. Team China never found their rhythm, and Bingu Wang found out this week that she's got a new rival in the Far East. Team Korea was the biggest story this time around. Ji Sun Kim guided her team all the way to a fourth place finish and made a lot of people into curling fans along the way. In the end, it was no surprise that three of the more veteran teams found their way to the podium. After all, there is no substitute for experience. But we also found out that with a number of talented young teams from all over the world, the title is always up for grabs. Next year, the Worlds will head to Latvia for the very first time, and the battle for gold will begin again. Congratulations to Team Switzerland, Sweden, and to Team Canada, Heather Nedewin, for their bronze medal here in Lethbridge. Next week, next Saturday, it all begins. We'll follow Glenn Howard and the Canadian champions as they open against Thomas Dufour in France Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern time from Basel, Switzerland. This is our final event of the season of champions here in Canada. And now on behalf of Linda Russell, Myself, our thanks to the entire crew, all the men and women who have uh, worked with us the entire year, tirelessly, so thank you very much. So now on behalf of all of us, till we talk with you again next week from Basel, Switzerland, thank you for joining us. The 2012 Ford World Women's Curling Championship is here on Canada Sports Leader. TSA Sports Center is next. Boys on the PGA Tour, Tiger is back.